So let's see how to install that SSL certificate. Let's uh, use it to IS server. Now we are in same section server certificate. And here, what we need to do is click on complete certificate request. Okay. Now here, we need to select the file that we have downloaded from SSL generator. Okay. And make sure you are selecting here dot. So it will show all the extensions and we need to select the certificate dot CER. Okay. Make sure you are selecting the proper uh, certificate here. Click on open. Make sure all the files you have downloaded from SSL generator are at the same place, click on open and friendly name you have to mention here, same, you can mention same as your common name. YouTube.amgn channel.in and you can keep the certificate store as personal here, okay? And click on Okay. Okay. So we have our SSL certificate installed. Now we have some more steps to perform to apply this SSL, SSL certificate to our website. For that, we need to select our domain or our website here from sites option. Okay, now we have to come to binding section. Okay, now after coming to binding session, we can we need to add entry here. Okay, in entry type, we have to select HTTPS. IP we can keep all unassigned. Port should be four four three. Host name. We need to mention the host name here. Host name should be our domain name. Make sure you are mentioning the correct host names. You can also select or check this box, require server name indication. And from SSL certificate, you need to select youtube.am channel dot in okay also if you have the previous ssl certificate already installed in your server so while installing this ssl at the time at the time of mentioning friendly name you can mention the date as well here okay just to reduce your confusion here And here are some more options. So as this are, uh, sorry, this is the uh, Windows Server 2022 and IS Server 10. So here we are getting some more options, but we are not uh, enabling anyone or disabling anyone from these options. And also after selecting your SSL certificate, you can click on view and you can get the validation details of your certificate here if you want to check more details you can check that from here okay here friendly name dns name authority public key and so many other details and here it will show the certification path Okay, now click on okay. Okay, so after confirming all things, click on okay. Okay, click on close. 
And one more thing we need to do here is we need to allow HTTPS port from security group. Okay. If you remember, we have created this instance from Windows Server, sorry, from AWS Management Console. So here we need to again click on Edit Inbound and Inbound Rules. Click on Add Rule. Before adding this rule, we will check how this HTTPS, uh, how this website would see from HTTPS. HTTPS colon double forward slash youtube.amchaelam channel dot in. Okay. It won't work or we are not able to browse from HTTPS because we have not allowed this 443 port from security group. Okay. And it won't work. It won't able to browse us this website. And now I'm removing the S here. So it is showing the countries this space. Now we will see without HTTPS, we are able to browse this website. Okay. Now let's allow the HTTPS port. And that should be found anywhere. Click on save rules. Now we will try to browse from HTTPS colon double slash colon YouTube dot AM channel dot in. Okay. Let's see what happens. And yes, we are able to browse these websites. And also one more thing you can confirm is this notification that not secure is showing where we are accessing this website without HTTPS. And from HTTPS port, it will show the log. And from this log, you can check more details about your SSL certificate. Okay. Some, some browsers allow that to check your SSL certificate details. Okay. And this is how we can install the SSL certificate to Windows Server. Again, after installing this SSL certificate, we can check the SSL status for our website. Okay. You can go with anyone, SSL shopper, DigiCert or GeoCert. And this SSL checker will show us the details of our SSL that we have installed on our website. Okay, so I'll mention here the name. Click on check SSL. Wait for a couple of seconds. And yes, it is showing the website name, our IP address of the server, server type, expiry days of our certificate, host name, and the SSL details of our certificate. Okay, and who is the issuer? Here we have issued that SSL, that also shown from here. And it is also showing that host name youtube.amchannel.in is correctly listed in the certificate. If anything is not correct or something is incorrectly mentioned in your certificate, then you won't see these details from SSL checker. Okay. So here you need to make some corrections 
and verify the things. And you can again do the same things like generating new CSR, uh, generating SSL certificate from a vendor site, and it won't charge you again. You can uh, issue multiple times same SSL in a year. Okay. Suppose you have uh, you want to change the server of your website. In that case also, you can use previous SSL by exporting it from previous server, or you can generate a new CSR from new server and do the same process accordingly. Okay.